Hi, this is Jack Lofton, and today I'm talking with J.C. Potvin of Murchison Minerals. And my very first question is, what minerals and, or metals is Murchison uh, looking to produce? Uh, first, uh, good morning, Jack. Uh, pleased to be here. Uh, Murchison is uh, active in Saskatchewan looking for zinc mm -hmm. and uh, copper and silver uh, with a little bit of gold. And while uh, the projects in Quebec were looking for uh, also zinc and, and silver and, and uh, on the Barod project and on the HPM project, it's uh, nickel, copper, and cobalt. And you're, these are all in Canada? They're all in Canada. The, the project in Saskatchewan is uh, clearly in the center of the country. And, uh, you know, it's a fantastic, um, well-run uh, um, mineral um, um, positive uh, province and the same with Quebec where uh, you know the, the province is very much uh, pro mining uh, so we're very happy uh, to be operating there it's a safe jurisdiction uh, and we have you know these, these great projects you know you're, you're really after uh, some some very important metals that don't get a lot of play in, in the uh, investor space and in particular copper is the key technology metal because you can produce all the electricity you want, but if I can't get it, it's not of much use. So the world is, is laced with copper wiring to, uh, to transmit electricity. And I think copper is, is short, uh, there, there's a deficit, and I don't see the deficit improving because of the current revolution, alternate energy, including EVs, uh, is is upping the demand for copper something fierce, and and interestingly enough, of course, China now demands sixty percent of the world's copper. So uh, and has organized itself to, to to get that they own or operate those that copper source. So we need copper very much in 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 America and Europe, and and I think you're, you're, that's a good thing. The the other uh, thing that interests me is that. Uh, silver is a very little known metal as a, as a technology metal, as a, as, as a metal used in electronics, but of course it is. And it's extremely important in solar cells. So th this is also unreversed. That's another good one. Mm -hmm. And I see zinc, which nobody seems to care about, but it's very important again to our manufacturing economy. And so, uh, and then you've got nickel and cobalt, of course, which are, which are critical for uh, the lithium ion battery space. So you, you've got a, a very good suite of projects. Uh, where do you stand uh, is, as far as the development of your deposits in, into actual producing mines? Okay, in uh, Saskatchewan, we have the Rabbit McKenzie deposit. It's, uh, when you look at the total resource, it's uh, just a shade under 10 million tons of uh, uh, indicated than the inferred uh, uh, resources, uh, basically zinc and, and copper and silver. Uh, very good infrastructure. It's uh, located uh, you know, within a two kilometers from the, uh, the main Northern highway and power and community. So that's a, a very well advanced project. Um, we also have a very exciting pledge exploration plate just uh, one kilometer to the north of the Brabant uh, deposit. There is, uh, we have identified a new um, anomaly, if you want to call it a big conductor that has the same signature as the Bramit McKenzie deposit. Uh, in fact, this is a project that we plan on drilling this summer. Um, the conductor that uh, has been identified, uh, it extends for 700 meters uh, long by 200 meters uh, deep. Um, so that's, uh, that, that could add uh, a very significant uh, tonnage if we're lucky. Uh, and uh, we'll have uh, that answer uh, literally in the, in, in the next uh, couple of months. So that's a very, very exciting um, uh, project for us. Uh, the other project that's really exciting to me uh, personally is the HPM project. That's the nickel, copper, cobalt. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a crew uh, in the field right now to follow up on uh, a big airborne survey that was uh, done uh, this, uh, this April. Uh, the, the field crew has been very successful in uh, locating all of these uh, conductors and sampling. And uh, I, I can confirm that um, the area is, is uh, well mineralized. Uh, and and, and the, our team is very excited. They're, they're collecting a whole lot of samples right now as we speak. Um, 
And, you know, I firmly believe that there's a very high probability that we uh, may well find something economic uh, on that project. Can you tell us something about your business background in the mining space, which which will give me confidence that your 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 probability estimate is of high value? First background is uh, education. I'm, I'm a geologist by uh, education, MBA. I worked as a mining investment analyst for uh, a long time. I was a top ranked gold analyst in, in uh, North America, and in fact, the world for a few years. I worked for Burns Fry. Uh, started Pangea Goldfields uh, in 2014. Um, and uh, sold the company to uh, um, Barrick for two hundred four million. Uh, we 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 found a number of uh, uh, gold deposits in um, in Africa and and uh, here in Canada as well. Uh, also titanium projects in in Kenya. Um, but we've we've worked pretty well everywhere. And uh, now we we have this uh, uh, this running this company called uh, Murchison, a uh, great, uh, great board, very well experienced people, uh, well known, uh, good reputation, and uh, very good experience. So we know what to do with the assets. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm uh, I, I knew your record, I had read it. Um, but I, I'm, I'm very uh, much, um, you know, in tune with with the, the fact that that you've got you've got very good looking deposits. You've got obviously extremely experienced uh, personnel, in, including yourself, and um, you're on to what I think is a very much underreported need, which is for some some of these basic metals. You know, it, it's wonderful that we can use uh, rare earths to make tiny magnets. But uh, to make the car to drive to pick up the, the magnet, we need zinc, we need, we need iron, you know, we, we need copper and things like that. And uh, North America was once self-sufficient. And, and, it, and at least it, I think the U.S. is trying again to be self-sufficient, but they're, they're talking about the high end, so to speak, the technology materials. And not much thought has been given to the to the structural materials, the basic materials. Mm -hmm. So one last question, which I think is a, a very much important. Is it, the US has been putting the kibosh on copper projects in Alaska and Arizona, you know, they won't let them go. How's Canada looking at the idea of a copper project? Canada is very much uh, pro mining. And mm -hmm. uh, when you look at the multiplier effect, uh, the economic multiplying effect of, of the mining investment, it's, it's outstanding. You know, they, for each job created in mining, there are five new jobs in the global uh, economy. Mm -hmm. um, and so Canada is, is basically well known, it's got a great reputation uh, for pr you know, promoting and supporting mining uh, and natural resources. And this is where we are. Uh, and both Saskatchewan and Quebec are top ranked in the world, in the entire world, mm -hmm. as a great place to, to be uh, operating. Uh, that's not to say there's no political risk. Uh, there's always political risk, uh, you know, it doesn't matter where you are, but uh, it, it's, uh, it's manageable here. And we have a great relationship with uh, our First Nations uh, both in Quebec and Saskatchewan, um, and uh, so you know we we are very excited about uh, the our asset base and um, moving forward to, to to grow that asset base and, and to d develop uh, these projects into actual mines. I I actually think that in at the end of the day, Canada will be America's source of things like copper and zinc because it's just that much easier to do. Yeah. So I think I thank you for your service, as they say. Pleasure, Jack. In helping us. And, and thank you very much. And I'm going to be watching your company very closely. Thank you. Much appreciated.